Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, um, I'm gonna take a look at how we could create a um, like a Christmas wrapping paper, like a like a repeating texture pattern. This is a um, something that I will improve a little bit. So um, basically, the idea is to study wrapping paper and then recreate it using Blender. And I will might use animation nodes or spreadsheet to do this, but I will take advantage of Blender particle instancer as well. Um, we probably won't be decorating something that's looking like a pretty like this, you know, with uh, all these little icons. But if you look at this wrapping paper and then you kind of separating the design elements and you kind of look at it, you can start to see the pattern. Okay, whether it's like a stripe pattern or this one is more like hexagonal pattern. Sometimes you see something that's kind of a uh, more random like this. This is actually something that's easily you can create using a blender um, Paint editor or image editor. You can actually repeat a pattern and if you have if you've seen something that's more um, Kind of more intricate like this one um, It might be using a certain um, texture placement uh, algorithm or something uh, but we're gonna do something that's pretty basic today so even something like this is quite nice if you look at a pattern like this this is slightly more abstract everything's overlapping it's almost like a like a city um, arrangement and yeah like this kind of thing like you, you have a look and then hey that's this is more kind of abstract looking and then this definitely will repeat um, yeah so for the pattern to be able to repeat but not showing too much of rep repetition is a is an art form um, in fact if I actually search like a batik pattern there's some math behind it there's a things with batik, batik pattern this is something that's more advanced it's like the wrapping paper but Batik pattern has actually has a math formula behind it. I know there's a math professor that's working on this kind of pattern every day. You know, like he designed algorithm to arrange uh, uh, elements of design like this. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll revisit Batik, but for now it's uh, just a simple um, Christmas pattern. Okay, let's get started save as wrapping paper zero one <clears throat> hide the lamp and hide the camera we're gonna use um i think i i can use the the monkey head i, I don't because monkey head has the front face side face top bottom you can see clearly all in six directions right what I'm gonna do is gonna kind of lay out this monkey pattern in a in an interesting kind of um, arrangement. Yeah, that's the that's the idea. So first of all, I'm gonna show you real quick. If we are if we are using um, just Blender and particles to make arrangement of pattern, you can do that quite easily. You just set Let's start with this uh, plane, for example, and you just create a particle system. And what I like uh, with particle system is kind of we can just turn off the physics and just use this for arrangement. So at the moment we have a single particle there. If you change the start and end to one, you can see the particles being um, kind of emitted all 1000 particles at frame one. Frame 1 is actually quite important in Blender. Frame 0 or the start of uh, particle um, simulations. Because if you're changing the number, sometimes you don't get updates. But if you're at the first frame, you will always get an update. So let's say instead of random positioning, we want something that's more like a repeat. You can actually change to grid. Okay. And yeah, grid is a start, but we're gonna use uh, hexagonal grid. That's actually better 
for what we are doing and we're just gonna work in a 2d kind of like if you're laying out 3d objects in 2d you're gonna uh, want to do that uh, I mean we're not gonna work in 3d per se but it's like 2d if you like it looking like from the top and then orthographic even and this is kind of setup that we want to use today okay so with the, the points being laid out by particles we can quickly turn uh, the monkey head kind of instancing the monkey head on into the points right that's what I will do select the particle system and then select um, go to render under render this object and then for the dupli get Suzanne and now Suzanne is being instanced all over the points let's increase the size to one and you can make a random size so this is like almost like pre uh, pretty much done for the wrapping paper right except for things like the rotations need to be fixed um, currently sometimes the rotations it's a uh, you have to be aware that um, a point a single point should have like a normal and the normal will affect the the way instance the instance um, objects being um, being uh, orientated so with the rotation let's see if the monkey if I rotate the monkey if we actually turn off rotations whichever the monkey is facing the instance will not change but if I turn on the rotation here and move the monkey now it's rotating with us so this is uh, probably something that we want to use now we get our monkey head um, if we turn off emitter and then turn on display render only we, we can see the, the arrangement of the monkey head so big monkey this is maybe mother monkey and a small kids monkey this is the original so the scale is affecting the instance as well now with the rotations we can um, also make it random using just blender instancer so we can randomize like that now, now that's looking better I guess um, yeah but the random we don't I don't think we have much uh, oh okay apparently this uh, velocity and random this will randomize the point normal we can use the rotations options and randomize this further I believe that's it yeah that's actually better but if you don't want to use the uh, this random let's say you want hey maybe I want to have more control over the random using um, animation nodes or spreadshop and yes apparently you can do that as well um, this is kind of a idea that I'm kind of thinking still proposing the idea for you guys maybe you you, got, you want to use this for the point placement you can use Spreadshop basically to help because Spreadshop can do some kind of cool algorithm and it there are so many algorithms that you can use in Spreadshop to generate points positions kind of to make this arrangement currently we have just grid and hexagonal in the particles system but with Spreadshop you can have more so you generate the points in Spreadshop and then you use that points to instance particles or and for the instance itself here like this guy you can you can do more like uh, using animation nodes so, because we know that um, I'll quickly demonstrate so this guy using a single particle um, single material okay and I'm gonna make a duplicate another duplicate okay they are all using the same material maybe call it Christmas material let's make it turn on object color so for with the object color on we can randomize the object color and then it will take the result okay so this is a Christmas color red green and not blue what's the other Christmas color maybe just snow color like that one two three and then Control G and you grouping the objects, right? Once you group the objects, you can go back to the 
particle instancer and then you can basically change the duplications to group now we have um, our Christmas monkey with the rotation and scale will be still being respected and what's interesting here you can kind of treat blender to instance random okay we make a bunch of them and then select all of this guy actually they are still already groups now we if you switch to compositing for example and switch to animation nodes and then we're gonna source the objects group just grab the group let's uh, currently it's slow I have to turn off always now, this is much better okay now with this bunch of uh, objects to be instanced here we can actually randomize the rotations quite easily okay we're just gonna loop it and use something like wiggle random wiggle um, we need a yellow wiggle and then here object transform output plug in the object rotation turn on and then for the Euler we go just use the index plug into the seed and hopefully we get like a quite random rotation of the monkey and with the particle itself let's uh, randomize the pick so pick random use count okay don't worry about all this random size so we have still a little bit of control I'm kind of like a uh, thinking away of we can take advantage of blender particle instancer and animation nodes and spiritual with the rotation here currently the monkey is facing is not facing the front of the camera so let's uh, let's have a look how do we okay that's uh, apparently the X is controlling the rotations first of all I'm gonna make like a like a, the default um, let's use Euler math first of all let's rotate uh, our particles combine uh, actually we don't need to combine Euler we just rotate the monkey head to face the camera that's, that's the first thing to do minus 90 okay now that we have the this default positions we can just use the random just a slight randomizations maybe not too much just enough to give a random monkey face turn on only render so we can see the monkey better the Z of course that's the thing that's gonna control the rotation of the monkey we can further randomize the seed okay when the monkey is still facing forward okay that's a uh, that's the idea basically um, it's pretty basic pretty simple you can do more and really if you want to change the element of the monkey you can do that you can instead of using a 3d objects you can also use 2d it's pretty uh, fairly easy maybe I should do that um, if I have the emoji thing maybe uh, import the image as planes use alpha okay shaless and where's my emojis I have some emojis here emoji symbols maybe oops this is the ugly one just use the emoji smiley I guess just grab bunch of them I use B and then select bunch import images as planes and yeah emoji is cool control G and I group the emoji and then now I can use the emoji to for our Christmas wrapping pattern just change this to emojis 
and let's see the particles okay particles also need to use the emojis see that's a <laughs> fairly interesting the rotation may be wrong okay we apparently don't need to rotate anything in the X so it's already oriented it's all different the particle is controlling the shape at the moment so just change the size and randomize it a little bit it's pretty good it's good enough you know for a lot of case and remember that this guy is a uh, still kind of procedural Blender particles, I like it a lot because it's a whole system. You can randomize, you can change the resolutions, okay? Um, and you can also uh, not jitter, uh, maybe turn off hexagonal, you get that. Turn on hexagonal. If I make changes, like for example, with the shape, the shape of the original emitter itself. See, I can make it like that. Yeah, there's a, a lot of um, possibilities, basically. Let me reshape our plane, okay? Um, but like I said, you can use Sphere Chalk to kind of uh, randomize the point. So I'll just go to Sphere Chalk and then find a interesting one. Scripted, uh, scripted node, let's see, random sample parametric spring equals circle or circle on points, best candidate rectangular random points. I think Zephy made this. Let me have a look. View draw. And we only need to worry about vertices. You see, that's a this is a more interesting points. So I'll move the particles a bit so. This is um, kind of like a scattering of points. Uh, Zephy said that this is good if you want to randomize, like uh, if you need points for trees, that kind of the point is kind of a populating a space, kind of a square space like this. And there is a name for this, I can't remember. You can adjust the radius. You can actually randomize the radius. I have not tried it. Uh, yeah, random number generators. Let's see. Uh, debug actually, stethoscope. Don't crash. Okay, cool. So we have 10 generator plug into the radius. And oh, actually, I maybe it's currently it's not uh, accepting different radius like a uh, anyhow this is pretty good arrangement um, I don't know if this guy is actually um, repeating I, I I have not tried this if I use like a plain matrix in location and matrix see the yeah. you can't really see the pattern even 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 better if, if you actually add a random further random here uh, you can change the radius the seed oh, okay apparently this guy is also making kind of pattern oh actually this is from this guy okay so we get that confused for a bit anyhow um, with the points here don't use fewer draw this is just uh, our preview use a uh, mk2 image mk2 viewer we're gonna turn on merge okay because otherwise you're gonna generate all these points as objects 1000 objects and blender might slow down so but if you merge it 1 million 10 million, 1 billion particles still okay. So just do that. Now we have these points, and the points like this is can be our new emitter. Okay, this is like a spread emitter. 
very powerful. Just turn on particles, turn on vertices, and the number you can have more or less, but the number really should match the the number of uh, particles here. Um, you can kind of connect this guy into an attribute, but anyway, how many points do we have? Ten? Uh, no. Get length. Length. Switch length and get plug this into that guy. Stethoscope. Check how many points we have. Twenty-eight. Really? That's more. We can have more. Let's increase this. So have a bit more particles. Uh, let's reset simulations. Oh, I know. I forgot. I changed the name. That's a pretty bad thing. I shouldn't do that. I should change the name in here. SV emitter. Now the particles should update hopefully. Let me fix something first. So that's SV emitter. This is a uh, SV emitter zero. Okay, because we already have uh, this guy. Delete, delete, delete. It's still called SV emitter anyway. Create new particle system and then use it. Just use. What's the number? 150. Okay. Turn off random vertices. Free particle system. So now we have particles that's kind of connected to spread chalk. Okay. As we update stretch of particles should update with it. And of course we, we're gonna have more or less particles, so this is um, gonna be interesting. I think we can this integer input and just plug this guy in there. This integer input should show up in the <coughs> under particles uh, under under stretch of panel. Try something. Uh, <clears throat> uh, that's uh, something to do with the custom attribute. Anyway, the, I'm not gonna do that. Gonna go back to this uh, emoji stuff, and then we're gonna use uh, the stretch of points for that. Get our group, our emojis group, and we should. Get a uh, like better point, uh, not better. It's a kind of different point arrangement. Okay, and then we can increase the number of points here for the particles, and it should match the one in square chalk, 167. So this is gonna be changing all the time. I kind of, I want to connect this guy to that guy. How how do we do that? Maybe we can use a set property. Just grab this guy, copy that part and paste it here. Control Option Command Shift Copy. Paste it here. And plug this guy in. So now if I make changes to spread chalk, this particle will also change. Let's see how many this can handle. Let's have a look. So now you can see like uh, only 475 
emoji. It's not not too bad. I'll go crazy, make it ten thousand by ten thousand, and let the script nodes kind of calculate the whole thing. How oh, ten thousand? Ten thousand? Just hundred million? Hundred million kind of iterations? Maybe that's too much. Uh, Anyway, the, in this live noting, I kind of make a summary. So basically, what I'm proposing is uh, sphere chalk can generate points, okay? And the points, blender particles can handle and to generate instancer. And instancer is very efficient using a uh, blender particle, so that's good. And then with the instance itself, you can kind of control it using animation nodes if you use a uh, object instancing like this. So that's a second thing. Uh, what else? Uh, wait. So you can use the. Uh, in this case, we are using emoji. It is actually like a two D texture. You can use any two D textures. All kind of. Uh, you can draw yourself. You know. That's just an idea. Um, so the pattern can be from stretch up pattern of points. And then the transform itself actually can be from stretch up or animation nodes. Um, so the instancing is handled by particles, so that's good. And because particles itself have control over what, how many particle instance being displayed on the screen, so that's not not a problem. Maybe currently Blender is frozen. That's okay. I think it's still gonna calculate. Um, I think it's using. Uh, this Mac virtual memory at the moment. Uh, maybe I'm creating like billions of vertices at the moment. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for this live coding. Hopefully this one is useful. Um, if you have any question, feedback, comments, please leave it down below. Um, let me know and then 